Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be on divination. And what is divination? It is a way of looking into our, or unlocking hidden knowledge or gaining some insight or a perspective um, using tools of divination and it lo even looking into what the future holds. Um, so tools of divination, we have the spirit board, which is a, um, it could be a Ouija board, it could be a witch board, could be just called a spirit board. Not a lot of people like to use these um, because they, they feel it opens a portal and I think that it can if you're not careful. I've used my Ouija board many, many times and but the key is to really know how to use it. Um, I do not recommend um, somebody who's you know new into working with energy and things like that into using a Ouija board and without proper knowledge it's important I, I mean I could do a whole separate video on how to use a Ouija board because I think it's important I think there's so many people that use it and they don't know how to use it there is a way and if you just go ahead and mess around with a Ouija board you could open a door for things to come in thing about the Ouija board is being specific um, having very very firm strong boundaries um, let me actually be a video that I'll get into because I, I think that I don't want to focus too much on spirit boards but um, I think it might be a video that I will do um, at a later time on how to properly use one um, runes rune casting um, awakens us to our natural inclinations so runes is one thing that I have never been able to grasp I I have a, a couple of rune sets and I just don't understand them so um, I have them but I don't use them because I don't get it and and I wish I so badly want to get like I want to understand um, but just something about my brain does not comprehend how runes work more power to anybody who just grasps it and, and goes with it, you know? Um, but runes is a tool of divination. Um, dowsing rods. Dowsing rods um, is great for holistic healing, and it's also good um, to measure your auric field. Um, next is tea leaf reading, which a lot of people do, and I think that it's fantastic. It's um, you loose leaf tea, pour boiling water over it you drink the tea and when you're done with your tea the tea leaves will be scattered at the bottom and the sides of the cup and you read the leaves and so like whatever images or or feelings you get from what you're seeing that would be your reading um, a scrying bowl or a scrying mirror you can even use a cup like a mug um, you can make your own super easy um, you can use a black or dark color, dark, dark blue bowl or mug and just fill it with water. And you can just use that literally to, to scry. Um, a, a scrying mirror, I make my own and it is so easy. It's, you get a picture frame and you could buy it at Walmart for like four bucks. They have four bucks any size. So it's like you can get an eight by 10 or 11 by 14. You get a big one or a small one, four bucks. Don't matter what size. Um, you take out the glass and you use matte uh, black spray paint and you do an even coat. Let that dry. Do another even coat. Let that dry. Pop it in, spray paint side in, glossy side, glass side out. And uh, you have a scrying mirror. You can decorate the frame however you choose, um, but that is actually really a great way for someone who wants to sit and and scry. And basically, you just you sit. You don't want to have the mirror or reflection facing you. You don't want to see yourself in it. You want to have this 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 area of of just reflection in general. Um, so it's good to either have it pointed, like have it pointed up a little bit. So you just, you see, not really seeing anything. Um, and just allowing like the thoughts, 
you know, you, you might start to see some things in the mirror that's possible, but a lot of the stuff is going to be in your third eye. A lot of the stuff you're going to receive as far as information, messages, things like that are going to be in your third eye. Um, the pendulum. So this is important to ask like yes or no questions. Um, it identifies imbalances in your body. If you, you know, it's important to tune yourself with your pendulum, you know, to, uh, I, I slept with mine for a few days. That way my energy tuned in with the, with the crystal of the pendulum, but, um, it identifies imbalances in your body and in your chakras. So it's really helpful for things like that too. Um, but it, it does answer questions if you have they even have like these boards where um it's almost like it's in a sense it's kind of like a spirit board because it has like yes no some of them have letters in between um and so you can use that to um divinate and and ask questions and tap into that energy next is the crystal ball works very much like scrying um it is scrying in the sense um I'd get my crystal ball, but I don't feel like getting up. But <laughs> um, a dark colored one, you can use a light colored one if you want a clear one. Um, a dark colored one has more of a reflection. So um, that's what I have. I have an obsidian uh, crystal ball. And so um, it's, it works very much the same way as scrying with a, with a um, scrying mirror or scrying bowl. Um, and tarot or oracle cards. So this is one of my favorite ways of divination. I read oracle. I don't read tarot. I don't like tarot. I don't like structured like it like you can you have freedom to read tarot how you choose. Um, but it's so structured and it's so like like this card means this like it, it pertains to this subject matter. I like the freedom to just listen to myself and and so I, I do I'm drawn more to oracle cards but um, oracle cards and tarot cards look into the not only the present but the past and the future and so it's a great tool for uh, divination get to know your cards if you're going to use cards get to know your pendulum get to know any of these things that you are using connect with all of them um, whichever ones you decide to use, it is so important to intertwine your energy with the energy of whatever tool that you are using, um, because you are going to get the most accurate, uh, responses and effects from that. So, um, whichever tool of divination you decide to use, um, just make sure you bond with that and you just, you, however you choose to do that, it could be spending time, like if you have cards, going through your cards every day, um, sleeping with them, that's what I did. I slept with them right under my pillow for about, th and, and I have so many decks, but, and it really, if I didn't feel like I was connected enough after three days, I would sleep with, with the cards for another couple of days, but, and that's how I bonded my energy with, with the cards, but, um, so this is just a quick overview of divination, what it is and what you can use and how to use it. So. Um, I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.